Hey everybody, it's Matt. Hello oh, Johnny. What are we doing today? Arctic 7. That's right, the new project. What are we doing in the Arctic 7? Um, so it draws pretty good actually, and we've been kind of cruising around with it. It's definitely fun, no power steering, but it's definitely fun. And Matt went down to the shore the other weekend, and it started raining, and the windshield wipers don't work. So we ripped apart the windshield wipers, took the motor and everything out, and we found out that the magnets in the motor came apart from the housing, so the motor wasn't spinning. So we took the whole motor apart, and we're gonna try gluing those magnets back into the housing to hopefully get it to work, because we're getting power and everything. And everything looks like it spins freely, it's nothing seized, it's just these were literally stuck to the motor. To the, I don't know the proper term for that part of the motor. It's also manual and for some reason none of our manuals ever have an e-brake. So we got a new cable. We got a new e-brake cable which we're about to to lift the car up. Well, hefty jack and to confess it did have an e-brake when we got it. It just didn't work very well. And then the first time driving it popped when I parked at the gas station. We're trying to take the cheap way out to fix the motor instead of buying a new motor. Well, we kind of can't. You can't buy a motor for these? Probably not. You just steal it out of the parts truck and make it work. We got a parts truck. We don't want to talk about it. We're not talking about it. Ever. There's the epoxy we mixed up. This stuff should set in a few minutes. Careful, SpongeBob. Careful, SpongeBob. Um, I already pulled off the handle it's all sitting there on the dash it's really easy you just slide the end of it up take off the little trim piece and then you can uh, those two little um halves have a screw in them you split them and you slide them up off it's really easy um we're gonna have to fix that shifter boot eventually because there's no tabs in the bottom of it holding it in so we'll have to figure out something for that and then we might find a way to get a quick uh release adapter onto our stock wheel because it kind of looked the look of the stock wheel but i want to be able to take the wheel with me because there's no other anti-theft in this car <laughs> <laughs> Didn't mean to. That's Johnny's key. All right, Johnny's under the car here. Undoing our e-brake from the bottom side. I'm gonna go around and try to do it from the inside without touching the car, so I don't kill him. Matt. What's up? I need a swivel bit. Okay. Come in here. And the e-brake runs right through here. As you can see, it's still sitting there. This guy sits through there and attaches to this. It's the adjustment screw. It's easier if you take the center console off. There's two bolts in the back, two in the front under this, under the little cup holder that sits here. I mean, um, sorry, change holder. That sits there. Mm, be careful because you'll probably snap the plastic clips like I just did. But that comes out there. The other two go in there. And then you can pull back this carpet and get a view of the grommet down there and push the grommet out from the top. Makes it easier on Johnny from the bottom over there. He got all the other stuff off. He uh, cleaned the rust off it and now he's priming it and giving it a, kind of give it a coat of paint to prevent it from rusting any further because this kit doesn't come with any extra hardware. I'm going to send you this little... Do dad? You're going to send it up to me? I'll send it up. Just send it up. Wait, just send it all up there. Send it up for me. Alright, now we just gotta put all the stuff back together. But uh, as for today, it's pretty late. So we're gonna call it a night. We got the e brake working. We got all the windshield wiper stuff off. And uh, we'll continue in the morning or tomorrow afternoon or whatever. Woo! Woo. Alright, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Kashi.